If you want to change your SF2 into an SF2H, have a look at this video. In your SF2H kit, you will find a tapered hose nipple and ferrule, the SF2H pump unit, and the SF2H spares kit. Let's get started on the swap over. Place the pump down and unscrew and remove the yoke guide. Remove the suction and discharge air vessels by twisting and pulling them out of the top and bottom cylinder. Place them aside. Then remove the four wing bolts. You can now take the SF2 pump unit out of the cage. Take the wing bolts with washers out of the SF2 pump unit and keep them aside. We will now remove the yoke from the SF2 piston. To do this, take the Allen key from the tools and spares kit. Remove the bottom cylinder and cylinder for easier holding of the piston and yoke. And now remove the two bolts with the Allen key on the lower side of the yoke to separate the yoke from the piston. Keep the yoke bracing and bolt aside. Take the complete SF2 pump unit and place it somewhere safely for when you require the SF2 in the future. We are now ready to assemble the SF2H kit onto the pump. Remove the bottom cylinder and cylinder. Hold the piston while pushing the yoke onto the piston rod. Make sure to align both holes in the yoke with the two holes in the piston rod. Take the yoke bracing and tighten them using the Allen key. Make sure the black L-ring on the top cylinder and the V-seal on the piston rod are still neatly in their seats and haven't shifted during assembly. Take the cylinder and bottom cylinder to put the SF2H pump unit back together. Making sure the L-ring on the bottom cylinder is also in its correct place. You can now place the unit into the cage. Pay attention to the orientation of the pump. The top cylinder opening, the discharge side, would be facing to the right, while the bottom cylinder opening, the suction side, would be facing to the left, the motor side. Secure the pump unit to the cage with the four wing bolts. They should be hand tight. Take one of the air vessels of the SF2 pump and place it on the suction side by pushing it in and then securing it by turning. Take the other air vessel and unscrew the top. This could need a bit of strength as it's tightly secured. Screw the air vessel top onto the discharge air vessel adapter of the SF2H. The air vessel adapter of the SF2H is glued to the top cylinder 
to handle the higher pressures, so these parts should never be separated. Now place the yoke guide and secure it with the knob. Give the pump a gentle spin to confirm if it's running smoothly. Your SF2H is ready for usage.